2, we'll get started. Now the exterior color is entirely black and constructed with steel tubing, plastic, and foam mounts. Now the unit comes unassembled with a separate bag consisting of screws, nuts, and washers. And they do include all the mounting hardware as well. An assembly took maybe about 5-10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes the most, I really didn't time myself. Uh, just using their picture diagrams which was pretty straightforward. Now this pull-up bar is securely held on by the door frame and does not require any drilling or screwing. Just like the Iron Gym and the perfect pull-up bar. Now, per the instructions, this unit fits standard door frames from 27.5 inches wide to 32 inches wide. And as for the thickness of the door, about 4.5 to 6 inches is ideal. And my personal door here, and I'll show you the measurements, it's actually 5.5 inches thick. And before I get started with the pros, as a disclaimer, I'm not a fitness instructor or claiming to be some great fitness advisor. I'm just the average Joe, just looking for good products to use. So if I do have bad posture or not so perfect form, please, the review is on the product itself and not me. So I'll start with the pros here. Right off the bat, the Gold's Gym bar feels almost identical to the Iron Gym's. The warning sticker right on the front of the bar does indicate a maximum of 250 pounds, and I'm lightweight, weighing in at about 160 pounds currently. And it does its job though, and it's able to hold me up perfectly fine. And there is some movement that feels like the bar is flexing a little bit, uh, but most of that is attributed to the foam pads on each side. And the flexing in the middle, again, it's not too much, uh, but it's also on par with the Iron Gym, and the Perfect Bar actually was the most stable out of the three. Now in my Iron Gym video, several fans mentioned it didn't fit their door, so be sure to rewind the video and double check on those measurements just in case. And now with this Gold's Gym's bar, uh, just like the other two, it does rest on the front facing trim of the door and also on the top of the trim uh, when mounted, and that's where it's going to take most of the weight. Now the foam padding felt a bit thicker than the Iron Gym's, which is great, but the design again is nearly identical. As you can see on the Iron Gym, the foam breaks down